Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video, let's define the relationship we have between different entities for the Swiggy clone. So we will also have the type which will be of type string or there can be a different set of user type. Okay, so what all other entities we are going to have is let's say address, right? Because user can have multiple addresses. Right, and the attribute here is let's copy a few things and then we'll modify them. So ID primary key, then street address, city, and all these things. City, state, I mean city should be fine. Then we have the let log also. Yes, this is our address entity. Because user can have multiple address. So that's why we have created something like this street address city and you can see the house number also. Because we need exact address of the user who is putting the order. Okay, now user address this is pretty much fine now the next thing we are going to have is the restaurant these are the entities we are just defining in the restaurant uh, we are going to have the address like uh, restaurant name should be fine name and address if we have any website or any motto or something or any de description let's say this is our restaurant entity okay now uh, what other entities we have is the payment entity first of all menu of a restaurants right so every restaurant will have their own respective menu uh, so there will be a payment uh, bill and there is a menu so in this menu like name the menu type like north indian south indian or the western or ita or any other different kind of food right italian food or uh, south indian dosa sambar or the north indian food so in menu id name type type of the food and the description like what all content will be there inside that food a little bit of information about it and then the image let's call it as a media right you have to show some banner image of that uh, particular food mm, what else we can have description type of the food so that can be another table of what all different type of food that restaurant is providing so this is the menu then we can have a payment as another entity in the payment we have the id order id and all before payment let's say there will be an order and keep moving them to different places okay let's say order so in order there will be a primary key and then order id let's say now this order will be created against particular restaurant right or a particular menu so we will be creating an order there will be let's say order status should be fine or order okay let's call it as a order status okay that will be having the id and there will be a user id we will define the relationship later i mean who is ordering this and uh, restaurant id restaurant id which is a string uuid and whatever we are just putting the column names first and uh, in order status menu list okay so we are going to create a menu list for each and every order right let's call it as a menu list of uh, this particular order and there can be order status because you might be ordering multiple things in a particular order right so we will be building up the, the menu list this can be a kind of a json object not a string because we can just put a lot of things in the menu list 
or there can be a menu list a separate entity order ordered menu yes that can be another entity ordered menu i mean we we will go through the refactoring and cleanup of this entity so this is not a final version i'm just putting all the entities we are going to have so there is a menu item cuisine type meal type this is the cuisine type and then there can be another thing which is a meal type like breakfast or something like that meal type and the price for each and every menu which we missed okay so we have the menu we have the restaurant order status now let's talk about the other pay other thing which are like payment payment like uh, name description which is of type string okay payment will be done against a particular order id right and there will be a payment status if it is done or in the pending state or not done so payment status then there is a bill is another entity bill will be generated against a particular order so we'll have a primary key and then uh, it's like total cost sorry so total cost of type string and we have okay we are generating the bill so that will be against a particular i mean that bill should contain the total cost only and uh, any coupon code you have applied i'm just thinking and writing so just bear with me coupon code and uh, in the bill amount to be paid and tax also there can be like how much tax you are paying discount let's call it as a discount how much discount you have received okay so bill will this bill id will be associated to your final payment i mean payment is done now you we will generate a bill that bill will be associated with your delivery okay now next thing is uh, there will be a we are generating the order right so order will be a restaurant id we have already created that let's uh, create an order entity okay this and then we will define the relationship i will just define all these things order right so what do you think the order will contain so order will be uh, the user id restaurant id uh, menu list and the order status i think we have already maintained that in the order status table so there is no need to maintain a separate table for it then we can have the cuisine type and the meal type in the menu like there is a meal type meal type so there can be another entity okay which is supporting all different type of meals and all different type of cuisines okay or it can be of type enum in our database so we have payment uh, menu item and then delivery right so the delivery will be done against a particular order so there will be delivery id and uh, so now there are there will be association right the who is going to be uh, who is going to deliver this delivery guy id let's say and this is the order id i mean which order you are delivering and let's say the to whom you are delivering or the address or something like that so that can be the user id from there we'll capture okay what is the address for this delivery user address and also some user information so that the delivery guy can contact this particular user this is pretty much we will have and also the bill id okay so we have defined these entities now next thing is just clean up these and define the association that i will do a little bit offline and then i will present it with you okay uh, thanks everyone